I'm still in my little odyssey in John chapter 15. I'm kind of sulking in this. And I've been talking to some friends who are kind of hurting. They've been pruned and they're not liking it very much. Things aren't going the way that they exactly want them to. And they're kind of fussed up about it. But, you know, uh, pruning is an honor. Talks about that early in the chapter. Uh, if you if you bear fruit, you're going to be pruned, so you'll bear more fruit. That's a really good thing. Twice in this chapter, Jesus says, if you ask anything that you will ask, anything you need in order to bear fruit, then it's going to be done for you. And, you know, he says that you didn't choose him. He chose you. So you're select. You're called out to do wonderful things, great and mighty things that you know not, it says in Jeremiah. But, you know, one of the things that I have a problem with my own life is that I moan and complain and groan and then I kind of figure out either Jesus is a liar or he's provided everything that I need and if I think he's a liar well then I might as well just give up but if I think he's already provided everything I need I gotta take a good look at myself maybe get in front of the mirror and go hey Ralph what are you not getting about what Jesus provided for you already because those are the kinds of thoughts that cause us to innovate I can remember when we had uh, about half the money that it would take to uh, get on our land in terms of, you know, the land that we had in Hawaii for our church. And, and then we used it all up, you know, preparing the land and all that. And now there's no building up there. And, 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 and then we started going, no, we've got a little bit of money. And uh, Jesus said he provided. He already provided. What can we do? We ended up with a tent. And it was unique. It was wonderful. It ended up being air conditioned and carpeted and all that. But it was a tent. So what I'm really challenging you to do is to believe Jesus, to believe that he's not a liar, to believe that he has supplied your needs and that you need to innovate a little bit and look at things a little bit differently than you have in the past. And you will probably be surprised in some very good ways.